Hey everyone, happy holidays, Merry Christmas. If you are like so many and your goal this year, your resolution was to try and stay healthy and now it's the end of the year, you realize you haven't done it and it's even harder right now because, well, let's face it, there are holiday parties and everybody brings cookies to work and bread and cookie, candy, God knows what. Like it's all stuff you, sh you know you shouldn't eat and it's just there and available all day, every day. That's what the holidays bring. I understand. Today I want to talk about how to stay healthy. Just a few tips and tricks on how to stay a little bit healthier during the holidays. And I'm curious, leave me a comment down below. What's your family's favorite tradition every year? What's your favorite tradition? But before I get into all the tips that I have for you today, I want to let you know that if one of your New Year's resolutions, if you are a New Year's resolution person, I have put together a free Revitalize Your Wellness course. If you have time between now and the New Year's, I would highly recommend watching it. It's, it'll only take you about an hour. It's totally free and it will really help kickstart your healthy new year. One of the things I'm also working on right now is my Building Healthy Habits course. If accomplishing your new resolution has become very difficult, I highly recommend that you take advantage of this course. As soon as it launches, it will be exactly what you need, step by step, how to make sure that you are setting reliable and reasonable goals, being realistic with your time, your energy, your motivation, your aspirations. I will leave links down in the show notes for you. So if you are trying to stay committed to a healthy lifestyle, if that has been your ultimate goal, if that has been your aspiration, if that has been this year's resolution and you're coming down to a close in the new year and want to make sure that you're staying with it, let's go through the tips. Now let's face it, everyone, again, is making cookies. There's a huge Christmas feast. If you're, if you're anything like my family, my parents do an entire Thanksgiving feast all over again for Christmas. It's just massive, but it, it entails so much more because more people come for Christmas. It just seems like there's just more goodies everywhere. There's just a massive feast, right? Well, the idea here with this tip is that you want to be mindful of what you're putting on your plate. Be mindful of the colors, actually, is the easiest way and the best tip I can give you. Reds, greens, not just potatoes and meat, right? There's no color there. Think about having more color. Get some greenery, if you have Brussels sprouts, and something red, that's always a great color. Peppers and, oh, pomegranates. Mm, yes, just be mindful of how you're putting your plate together. Add multiple flavors. Okay, this is a good one because I'm not a big eggnog person, but I do enjoy a glass of wine every now and again. And around the holidays, that tends to be more often than not because there's a party every single night and everybody brings wine. and. There are cocktails all around and eggnog and somebody spiked some sort of beverage. It's just all festivities all around and usually that involves drinking. My tip on this one, stay hydrated. Best way to do that. Now, I have discovered my favorite glass is actually a wine glass, but after I finish this glass, I will fill this up with water. Continue to carry around the same glass because I've actually got the muscle memory built in so I can keep drinking very comfortably, but hydrating at the same time. One of my favorite tricks. The other option, go with mocktails. There are some really good ones, I've got to say. So if you're a mocktail person or not an alcohol person, there are some really, really, really good ones out there. Highly recommend mocktails if water just seems a little bit too basic and boring during the holidays when everybody is doing a lot of festive drinking. 
Okay, so this is another great one because it seems like all we end up doing is we're running around like mad. We've got to work extra because we're taking extra time off. You've got kids that are probably off from school. So there's a lot of things like your to-do list grows, right? And then on top of that, you're trying to make it to everybody's parties, everybody's dinners, get your own dinners done on time. Take some time, make sure you plan for at least a 30 minute break for yourself just to go outside, take a walk, go to the gym. I mean, it's Christmas day, nothing's open, but I went for two walks today with my dog. It was fantastic. Like get out, enjoy a break or two, especially if you have a family like mine. Sometimes a 30 minute break, get out of the house, totally needed. Okay, this is one of my favorites because it incorporates my favorite thing ever, indulgence days. I give myself two indulgence days every single month and I encourage you to do the same. I plan them very specifically. Now, I planned my last one during my work holiday party and then I planned my next one for this holiday, my personal family holiday indulgence day so that I could have a few cookies. I could have a pie or two. I could have a few of the breads that some of the girls at work are really good at making, let me tell you. The idea is not to deprive yourself. It's not an all or nothing thing, because that's no fun. Make it fun, but in moderation. Everything in moderation, including moderation. My family has a lot of great traditions. Some are healthier, some are not so healthy. The idea with this tip is take some of the things you already have established and just tweak them a little bit to be a little bit healthier. The idea is to still enjoy your festive time around the holidays, your family time around the holidays, but don't sacrifice the healthy lifestyle that you've been trying to build all year. Explore new options, healthier options for your Christmas dinner or healthier snacks while you're sitting around a puzzle and or playing cards or playing board games like my family does. Whatever your family's tradition is, figure out ways to just tweak the healthy vibe just a little bit more. If having a healthier lifestyle this entire year has been your goal, then you've probably accumulated a few people in your life that are a little bit new. They're the people you might meet at the gym or because of a new hobby. I now have some new dancing friends that I've just met in the last few months that I would like to start building new traditions with. Maybe invite them over and just have a dance party in the living room. We can be active and have fun. It's a way of melding the healthy lifestyle that you've been trying to create with the traditions and the holiday spirit that inevitably just happen, right? I mean, we kind of get swept up in it, which is kind of where the magic comes in, but at the same time, we're a little bit in control of this. So surrounding yourself with people who are also trying to stay healthy really makes staying healthy around the holidays so much easier. Let's not forget that the holiday season is all about joy and giving and excitement and presents and magic and all of these things that we love and we get to spend them with all the people that we love. The idea is not to deprive yourself or feel sad or feel that you're neglecting or being separated from the people that you love or the things that you love. Your healthy lifestyle should not do that to you. So be a little bit self-compassionate towards yourself. Understand that yes, you might be trying to build a healthy lifestyle, but don't think of spending time with your family as a setback on the lifestyle you're trying to create. Be self-compassionate to yourself, to them, and understand that all the progress that you have made this year does not get undone in one day. 
remember, and I advocate this if you've taken any of my courses, I advocate this in both of them, progress, not perfection. I wish you a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays filled with love and joy, excitement, magic, activity, moderation, some mindful choices, and compassion for yourself so that you can continue on this wellness journey that you desire. Be well and Happy New Year.